Oh, now we're talking. Just look at those. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef Farm Rick today. A Thai recipe, a fantastic recipe, bursting with flavor and using chicken. We're making lemongrass chicken or chicken wrapped lemongrass. It depends which way you want to translate it, but that's what we're making. And we're going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, we've got just a little bit of prepping to do. We're actually going to blend. But we've got some lemongrass, kaffir lime leaves, coriander root, some chilies, some shallots for red onions, and some garlic. We're going to blend all that to make a paste. Okay, so to make this easier then, we've got to slice this lemongrass. It's already been prepared. Okay, I've already taken the, the outside leaves off. And we've got this so we need to be just doing this nice and small so it can go in our blender we have to make it easy for our blender so we're just going to bob that in there now obviously looking at one of these if you've got a hard end on there don't bother trying to put it in there. We want that nice soft bit. So we've got a little bit of coriander root here and we're just going to slice through it just to make it easier to blend. Now it doesn't have to be so fancy, you know. Just nice and steady through. The blender's going to do the work. We just have to try and make it easier. We've got a couple of dry chilies. Same. And with them being dry chilies, they're a bit harder to chop through. And that is going in our blender. So we've got some kaffir lime leaves, and all we're going to do with those is slice those through as well. Now you don't have to worry about taking those stems out. And if you can't get kaffir lime leaves fresh, in the Asian markets you can buy them frozen. And they're excellent. So nice and steady, straight through. And we're just going to put that in there. Okay, this is real special garlic. I'm not kidding, it's Thai garlic. Okay, it's got a fantastic flavour. Use any garlic, I'm using Thai garlic. And we've got some red onions, some shallots. So just put those in there and we are going to give this a blend in. Okay, so there's no salt, nothing going in here. We're just going to blend that up. I'm the wrong way around, but we're going to give it a blitz in. So that's our blended paste. So that's our blended paste. We'll chuck that in our chicken in just a second. Let's get rid of this blender. So I'm going to get some gloves on because I want to get my hands in. So in we go with our blended herbs. Get that off there. So in with our lemongrass paste. In with some sugar. I'm only using brown sugar actually. Corn flour. Fish sauce. Soy sauce. And this is my favourite brand of coconut milk. Right, so all it is is hands in and mix it all in. When we marinate this, this chicken is actually going to soak up this fluid in here. All this paste and this coconut milk is going to go in here with the corn flour. So what we're trying to do, we're just trying to give this a little mixing in here. Probably about five minutes, just see if we can get it tacky. And all that fluid in with that chicken. Right, so that's about okay, look. And what we're going to do, we're going to put that in the fridge for about four hours to marinate and go cold. When it marinates and goes cold, hopefully, we should be able to make it into a nice little ball round our lemongrass stalk. So that's going to go in the 
fridge four hours okay this is going to be absolutely perfect it's raining outside i've taken our mixture out of the fridge and we're ready to make our skewers so we're going to take a tray out of here i've already put some tin foil we'll get rid of this other tray we don't need that we'll just put it there and what we're going to do is take one of our lemongrass stalks and we're going to get some of this mix and we're just going to put it round there we're going to make a kebab round there so that's what we're doing we're shaping that up round there like that and we're going to put on our tray so we're just going to bob it on our tray like that and we're going to carry on and do them all so let's crack on and do another one nice bit of mix on there get it on get it round and make a kebab so there we are there's our finished lemongrass chicken now what I did do I did oil the tin foil before I put these on because when I put the first one on it was sort of sticking now I didn't show that on film so I'm telling you I oiled the tin foil and then carried on Right, we need to get this in the air fryer. I'm using this air fryer today. Now, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going to try and put both trays in there at one go. Now, this air fryer has a heating element at the bottom and a heating element at the top, but I'm not sure it's going to work. So we might have to change the trays over to make sure they're cooked. So what we're going to do is stick that in the air fryer and see how we go from there. So we're going to drop one tray on that near that bottom and then we're going to go in the middle. So we want to put the air fryer on and we're going to cook this for a, you know, on about 165 degrees and we're going to do it for about 20 minutes. But we're going to check it. So set the time for 20 minutes. In fact, we're going to go a little bit longer. We're going to do it for 25 minutes at 165 degrees. Let's see what happens. We might have to change it over. Okay, let's just have a look in here. Right, as I thought, because I'm using two, the top one is browning and the bottom one is cooking, but not browning. So we're definitely going to swap them over. Now, if you look there, they look superb. So let's bob that down there. I'm going to take that bottom one and we're going to come up. And then we're going to put this one on the bottom. And carry on. Now we've got about 12 minutes to go on there and I think it'll be perfect. Obviously the top one's cooking more because the fan is at the top in this oven. If you had a different oven, it would cook differently. So another 12 minutes we take out. Okay, there we are. Done. Let's have a look. Oh, now we're talking. Just look at those. Okay, as you look on there, look, you can see the difference in doneness. You know? the bottom tray seemed to heat up better on the bottom of the tray but then the top tray heated up from the top and that's because of the two elements in there in a normal oven it would be completely different so i've swapped these over and that's what we've got they look superb and i tell you the smell in here is amazing the smell of lemongrass cooking with this it's awesome so all we need to do now is get these served up. Wow, just look at that. They are superb. You know, the smell in here is absolutely tremendous. Just look at that. And I'm having this one. I've got my name on this one. that is superb oh the lemongrass through there the chili that is 
absolutely delicious. That is really, really good. Oh. If you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.